cherries look like on the vine. Just passing by the, uh, the sidewalk here, and here they are. These ones don't look like super ready. They're, they're still green, but hey, how about that? Just here, just like growing like a weed. There's the flower. It's cute. Yeah, too bad they're not ready. I want to eat them. Greetings. So uh, this one's probably going to be kind of quick, but certainly worth mentioning. When I was at the Paw Paw Festival, there was a vendor there with a booth on um, green energy. She was promoting some um, solar energy products and stuff like that. But she had some fruit, and um, we got talking about fruit, and she shared a couple things with me, including these, which are a variety of golden berry that I have never seen before. Um, she calls that she called them ground cherries, which is another name for them. They're also known as uh, Cape gooseberries. Back, I think, on my 16th episode, I reviewed the golden berry. And uh, if you haven't seen that episode, uh, you know, check that out. I'll put a link right uh, here. You click on the that strange tabloid over there. Click on that tabloid, and it'll bring you to my um, my goldenberry episode. Watch that first. You know, you know what a goldenberry tastes like if you don't know already. Uh, which is, they're kind of interesting because they're related to tomatoes, but they don't really taste like tomatoes how you would expect a tomato to taste, but they do have like a little bit of a tomato taste and also a berry flavor, something like um, raspberries. Now these are, she's, she was calling these uh, pineapple ground cherries, so pineapple golden berries, um, which I'm guessing these taste a little bit like pineapple then. So let's... Uh, Let's take a look at it. This is kind of exciting. Like, I don't normally see the ground cherries, golden berries, or whatever with the little sheath intact. Usually they uh, sell them at markets around here in the U.S. with these removed. So it's like opening a little gift. Yeah. Take a look at that. And this is, uh, I don't know if you could tell with the lighting in here, but it's yellow. It's much more yellow looking than um, the normal, uh, the normal golden berries. Those were very much orange, and it's also quite smaller. I don't have any regular ground cherries to show you, but it is um, probably like two thirds of the size or smaller than a, a regular ground cherry. Most importantly, how does the taste compare? That's really nice. These are really, really good. Better than ground cherries, the regular kind. Uh, at least I think so. There's like a little bit of a tomato taste there, but it's hardly noticeable. Uh, it does have a pineapple taste, like distinctly pineapple taste. They don't have much sourness though. Like pineapple, you know, usually it's quite sour. Uh, this has little to no sourness. And there's no bitterness, it's just uh, very sweet. It's probably um, about the same or slightly sweeter than the regular ground cherries, but wow, um, good, very, very good. I'm surprised that you don't get these in stores. I mean, there's not much else to say about it. It just tastes like pineapple. Slightly like tomato. It doesn't really have much of a berry flavor to it the way that regular ground cherries do. But, um, yeah, so there's that. And, uh, the same lady, um, I, I bought these off of her for, like, a dollar, and, you know, we got talking about fruit. Happens with me sometimes. And, um, she was like, well, if you like fruit, here's something you might like. If she pulled this guy out on me, this is a native plum. It is a wild plum that had a lot of significance for Native Americans. Native Americans cultivated these and would like plant the trees, and this was like a ma major part of uh, their culture. But 
even though it grows all over the um, all over the at least the eastern half of the U.S., uh, you don't really see them. You don't really see them. Um, although they are popular as a landscaping tree, so the tree I guess is supposed to be really attractive to landscapers. I don't really know much about that stuff, but uh, yeah, people are more interested in the tree than the fruit. Let's see why. Uh, and she, when she gave this to me, she said not to eat the skin, so I'm not going to. It's a little bland, but not bad. You know, it's not it's not a bad fruit to eat. Uh, comparing it to a plum, yeah, tastes like a plum. Tastes kind of like like a red plum. A little bit like a peachy kind of taste. It's got kind of like a subtle sourness away the way a peach would, and a plum wouldn't. Um, so it's got like a little little more sourness than a plum. It's got about the same sweet sweetness as a plum, but all around it doesn't have like that much flavor. It's just kind of like it has these flavors, but they're kind of like a little bit diluted. If you are fascinated to see all the different seeds of the world, this is a gratuitous shot for you. Enjoy that. Um, it looks like a plum seed. Just maybe a little bit smaller than usual, but makes sense. And she said don't eat the skin, so naturally I want to see why. Yeah. It's not terrible, but I don't want to eat it. It's kind of like bitter. And initially it's just kind of like, yeah, what it is, it doesn't really taste like anything. Um, but it's kind of like tough to chew, and then it kind of like comes up afterwards and kind of like bites you a little bit with a little herbal, bittery kind of flavor. And the fruit itself has a little bit of a, um, an herbal kind of taste to it as well. Um, yeah, so not too much more to say about it, but interesting to see it. You know, this is something that maybe if you go walking around in the garden or something, you're walking around in like a park, you might be able to see the trees, in which case uh, it would be something to like forage for, but otherwise not a normal one to find, and that's always fun. Hey guys, don't click out on the window just yet, okay? Listen to me for one second. I just want to take a quick moment and tell you about my Patreon page that I just started. This is a way for fans of my series to help contribute and make my show even greater and to expand on content, get new videos, and give you some cool bonuses and rewards. So if you have a moment, just click on this video right here, click on me, and it'll be it'll take you to my Patreon page where you can learn more. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye bye. I, I made this video too long. Um yeah, you can, if you don't want to go to the Patreon page, it's okay. Um, you can also click on one of these fruit videos. There's, there's one over here, you can go to the, the next episode, and you can go down over here to go to the last week's episode, and yeah. Oh yeah, sub subscribe. Subscribing is, is helpful, and um, like it, like it's good, L liking it is good. Um, and leave a comment if you want to leave a comment, you know, tell me what you think, if you liked it, you hated it. Yeah, um, okay, that's it. Bye-bye.